Hello, my name is Chris Bain, the Instructional Associate of the Design Department. And today we are going to take a look at how to download the free educational version of AutoCAD from the Autodesk website. So within Canvas, you should have access to a link. And this is the link here, this Autodesk student community. And so I'm going to select on that. And that's going to bring us to the Autodesk website. So um, first and foremost, in order to get any of their software downloads, we have to create an account. So I'm going to go up here into sign in and I'm going to assume that as a new student, I don't have an account. So I'm going to create an account. And my account is going to be going to be type right now MCC AutoCAD. Let's try that again. Okay, and password, and I'm going to agree to the terms. And the account has been created. So it may send you to uh, back to your email address to get um, a, a, a number. I think I've been playing enough with this today that um, it's not making me do that. But once we have access into uh, the Autodesk portal with an account, I'm going to come down here. If you notice in the, um, in the address line, it's Autodesk Education Home. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get products. So I'm going to click on this. And there is this information over here, but we can disregard this because we want to focus solely on downloading the actual software. So I want AutoCAD in this case. And so I'm going to get started. I'm going to click here. Uh, and so it is asking me to log in. And again, it's asking me for that uh, verification email. So I'm going to verify my email. And it actually is going to bring me back into the site. So a little bit of redundancy here. So same thing. Here is that AutoCAD software and I wanna get started. Okay, so here, obviously we're in the United States, at least most of us are, perhaps some of us working virtually or not. Educational role, in this case, I am a student and Miracosta is a university post-secondary. So we're gonna put that. And then they do ask us for our birthday and hopefully you feel comfortable providing that. We're gonna move on. And the name of the education, educational institution is Miracosta. And so here it is, Miracosta College, Oceanside, California. And uh, for me, because I'm in the design department, architecture, engineering, construction, and when am I enrolled? Well. I am starting this semester, so this is January 2021, and I'm going to graduate in a year, January 2022. 
So I'm gonna save that information. So the account has been set up. And we're going to move forward now. Uh, yet again, we're going to get started downloading AutoCAD. So that was the third time we had to kind of be redundant and select it. So here is our information confirmed uh, for them. And I'm gonna confirm that. It's gonna take a minute. Looks like we might be frozen. Let me try, I'm gonna back up and see if we can try that one more time. As you see, even our friends at Autodesk can have delays and holdups with their software and their, uh, and their website. Okay. Um, so I re essentially think about me refreshing my screen and, and we are now here and we're receiving this, something's not quite right. We were unable to confirm your eligibility because what they are now requesting of us is we have to provide documentation that we are currently enrolled as a student. And so um, if you keep trying again, it's gonna keep saying, sorry, we can't confirm that you're a student. We have to upload some form of documentation. So you notice this uploading, it's a link. So I'm going to select it. And here you'll see that the additional documentation is required. And what we can do is we can drop and drag it right into here, okay? And as you notice, there's any number of different pieces of documentation we can use a school transcript, uh, a school issued confirmation letter, a school ID. Um, you know, I, I have my school ID here. I could take a, a picture of it and drop the JPEG or the PDF into there. I could contact the uh, Office of Records and Admissions and ask for a transcript or a confirmation letter. I could take a screenshot of my, uh, my course load and upload it there. Then once we've done that, um, we are gonna hit submit. And usually they, they, we would get a prompt and it would say, we'll turn this around in 24 to 48 hours and provide you access to the software. Autodesk is pretty good about um, turning it around and providing you with the software download license key within less than 48, excuse me, less than 24 hours in most cases. And once they have provided you that link in email form, it's very straightforward to click on it and the download will automatically happen. So these are the steps that we have been finding that students are getting a little confused or uh, just they're nebulous as to what needs to be done. And hopefully this explanation shows you the step-by-step -step um, feel free to go back and rewatch it. And if you can get to this page, then you should get a, a response from them momentarily. Let me go back and see if we can't review those steps. I don't think we can. Okay. But remember, we wanted to select that uh, AutoCAD icon put in our information. Remember that Miracosta is one word and it is a post-secondary university school. Uh, that one gets some confusion with students. Um, and then also, again, once you see you're asking for the information, if you get that red prompt and says something went wrong, you need to click on that link to go to the next page to provide documentation for them to approve and give you the link. So um, I hope this quick overview has provided some kind of clarity and step-by-step. -step. If not, uh, please contact the Cranium Cafe 
the uh, lab assistants, as you hopefully have seen now by either the videos or by us dropping in um, and saying hello to your classes, are available. Or feel free to send me uh, an email at any point. I'm on the Cranium Cafe. I'm also at C B O E H M at Miracosta, M I R A C O S T A dot edu. Thank you, and I hope you have a great semester.